This show is brought to you in part by Wayne County Community College District, where education shines bright. What's happening in entertainment? From Tinseltown to the Big Apple, this is your weekly entertainment magazine with Greg Dunmore of PulseBeat.tv. Pulse of a new generation. PulseBeat. TV. Hi, and as always, I'm going to welcome you to what I think is the hottest and most happening show on television, and that's TV. Greg Dunmore's Hot Happenings. Now, you know, it's not about the moment, it's about the movement, and we were at Movement 2016, and it's also about the movement of what happens when you get a hot DJ as in Stacy Hot Wax L. <laughs> And the movement of two young men that proved that their feet really do a lot of talking, and that is ale and tail. And there's nothing more moving than being in some Nike gym shoes, and the Nike store just opened up in Detroit. So we're keeping it hot and happening. More shoes, shoes and hats. I'm down here. Give me some LeBrons and some Jordans. They came out, they brought us drinks. I mean, it's a class act. Class act. All the way. Nike to try. Woo! Oh, my God. This is the double pack right here. And then these are for me. Yeah, the big pack, yeah. So how much does that big pack check you back? 300. You know, I was afraid standing in line that there wasn't going to be a ton of selection. It's packed. There's everything. Everything's stocked. Everybody's really helpful. It's been an awesome experience. We're, we're so pleased. He can run faster in those shoes. This is amazing. <laughs> Those are thick. These, Air Jordan, the Aqua 8. These right here. Shout out to Aspect, he put me on these. Oh, yeah, shout out to Aspect. These are actually $140 right now. The um, original price is $190. Since, since Jordans are so uh, popular now, 2016, they upped the price. The original price for Jordans back in the day, when my um, uncle said, was a good $110. No, they was affordable, but they make them affordable today. And you know when you're at the hot and happening Nike, you're about to meet somebody hot and happening. Now we met two hot and happening young men who go by the name of Ayo and Tail, so we decided that they were worthy enough to feature. So let's find out more about Ayo and Tail. Dancing, for those who don't know what that is, let us know. Okay, viral dancing is, of course, you making a video with anybody you want and having fun with it and then pushing it yourself. And then when it gets out there, you do the right thing in them videos, the numbers just come and come and they become viral. Wow, now you two are actually viral sensations, so let the audience know the sort of numbers, the sort of fans that you have. It went from what number to what number? Um, we started off with getting a thousand views, two thousand views on YouTube and Facebook, and then we start getting out there on Instagram, and then our Facebook videos and their views start going up to seven million, eight million, three million, four million in about three days. Yeah. Now, let's do the math on that. If every viewer was to pay you just fifty cents, how much money would you have in a year? <laughs> Woo. Woo. We would be, hey, we would be up there with Biggie Smalls. Honestly, we would be. Hey, you would be multi-million. Multi-millionaires, honestly. Yes. What influence has Detroit? Um, had on you as a budding entertainer, um, a star in the making? Uh, a lot because um, my, 
when we first started dancing when we were little, my grandma told us stories about Detroit, how Detroit used to bring in all the big entertainers and stars, and how they used to generate a lot of like fans, money, everything through Fox Theater. And then when we started dancing and getting real serious about it, like we wanted to be a part of it. So Detroit, honestly, we started in Ypsilanti with talent shows, and then Detroit brought us in to the performances of Fox Theater. So that's the type of influences Detroit has done for us. Now, when we talk about where you see yourself because you're a young guy and I remember, say, I'm old enough to remember when Michael Jackson was about your age and when I first saw him and he did a song called I Want You Back with the Jackson 5, there was an energy, there was something so great. So I'm talking to you now, maybe I could be talking to Michael Jackson, but I was as young as he was at that time, but now I'm talking to you. So let me know what is a dream yet to come true as an entertainer that you see in your young but promising life. Um, to be honest, it's crazy because we like, we could get, I can get into places I never thought I would be in as I'm 16, so it's a good experience. Um, it's great to see, get grown people's attention on me because I'm young. And it, it's just great to have little fans of uh, me, I'm like 12 years old, 16, and 21 and up. So it's, just a, it's a great experience. So now, where do you see yourself when you're an old man of 21 years old? Um, 21, uh, I don't know, maybe, I, right, yeah, California, California. California, yeah. and so in this, viral dancing, and I know that you'll be um, well received for many years, but what else do you see in your future in terms of the whole spect spectrum of entertainment? Um, honestly, we could act, we, we're multi-talented. We can draw, act, um, start rapping soon, start getting, yeah, we play min instruments. I've been playing trombone for six years, so I really have a lot of options out there, but the main option, um, I could say, Hmm. Dancing is right now is our main option, but for a backup in the, in the future, I should say like business, business. yeah, business, no. fashion. fashion. Okay, it's yeah. fashion. What is your fashion statement? I'm looking at you right now. You know, on the red carpet, they asked yeah. you who and what are you wearing. Who and what are you wearing? Oh, I'll be wearing shoes, Patrick Moore's, Balenciagas, Kanye West uh, shoes, Yeezys, pants, ball mains. Top, I should say, um, Fear of God from Paris. Uh, I'll be wearing a lot of different type of clothing, but everything will come together. I'll be red carpet ready. <laughs> now, I'm looking at you, and it's funny because they were so young when they came out, but now they're older men. Kid in play. Um, so I'm seeing this sort of like channeling of kid in play. Is that a duel that means something to you? And uh, have they had any influence on your style? Yes. Uh, before I, I got the locks in my head, I actually had a high top for five years and everywhere me and my brother went and everywhere we danced that, they always used to say, kid and play, kid and play. And we, uh, earlier we had our pants backwards and they kind of compared us to um, Criss Cross. Oh, to Criss Cross, yeah. Yeah, Criss Cross. Do they rock simple we Go back down and make ya. Oh, daddy back up and yeah. Criss Cross up and yeah. I came out as dancers and I know that you know there's so many different types of dancers and you can study dancing um, you can watch a video and pick up some moves where and how did you pick up your dancing abilities okay. our grandma started off with Prince and Michael Jackson because my grandma always said nobody used to dance like Prince and then Michael Jackson was our main focus and then we moved on to Chris Brown and then Usher and then currently the late twins. The Lay Twins are our current like inspiration and how we 
think of our moods and how we listen to the music because when we listen to the music, we listen to every beat. They taught us musicality. Every beat, all the background drums, the horns, everything, we hear that when we dance. So when we dance, you might see our arm move, our body move a certain way to the music. So people be like, wow, I wish I could dance like them or y'all should open dance lessons or anything. I just want to catch the audience's eye, and I want to be known as the person that wears a mask, has the afro, pants backwards, and Jordans, you know, different styles than everybody else. Like, a lot of dancers wear their pants frontwards, they just wear regular t-shirts and hair braided maybe, nothing really special, Drip, look, all of this. Necklace, everybody knows me from the necklace and the, a lot of jewelry on my arm. You know, I want to thank both of you, and um, we're telling our audience that these two guys are hot happenings. Be on the lookout for... Ayo. And Tayo. Fantastic. Continue success. <laughs> Pulse of a new generation. TV. 107.3 FM. WVIE. How would you like for this to be you? Well, it could be. If you have the desire to be an independent radio personality, paying yourself, this is your chance. WVIE 107.3 FM and WHPR 88.1 FM are looking for people with outgoing personalities who can attract sponsors. Launch your career on a radio station with the latest technology and broadcasting. WVIE 107.3 and WHPR 88.1. If you're into talk, R&B, oldies, jazz, gospel, or soca, Radio We Can See is where you need to be. 88.1 FM. WHPR. Have your own radio show. We have block time available. Call 313-868-6612. Radio We Can See. Broadcasting live in the Virgin Islands and Detroit. Comcast Cable 91, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Pulse of a new generation. Pulse Beat. TV. <laughs> is hotter nor more happening than movement 2016. You know, they say it's not about the moment, it's about the movement, and boy, there's a lot of movement going on here. Now, Toronto is a weekend spot for a lot of Detroiters because we find that to be a very vibrant city. So when you think about coming from Toronto to Detroit, what goes through your mind? I didn't know what to expect coming here. You hear a lot of like negative stuff, but like so far it's awesome. Like people are super nice, like nice city, like walking around. It was like much different than I expected, but uh, I think I'll be back here like just for like fun on a weekend. Wow. So close to it's only a few hours away. As we say now, this is something that we always associate with Canadians when we say A. Yeah. <laughs> so A, we're glad you're here. Cheers, man. It's good to be here. Happy to see Detroit. Fantastic. Thank you. Movement Detroit is probably the best festival you can hit. The atmosphere is beautiful, everything is beautiful here. We're back again, Movement 2016. So what should we expect that is extra exciting coming from something that's going to happen here? Uh, every year is good vibes, good music, great music, and uh, people are ready to dance. So you're going to expect Expect the unexpected, actually. Expect the unexpected. And let us know something that is upcoming in your stellar career in the world of techno. Uh, in the world of techno, in my career, uh, we got, we got, we actually just released our Origins Movement compilation, which is a KMS thing, our label, record label, my father's label. So that's kind of my last project I just did. It's, it's a hot techno compilation uh, out on Beatport and Track Source. So you should check that out. No. Last year I told you to give me some advice your dad gave you concerning this business. Now you've been doing it long enough to where you can give some advice to somebody watching you that may want to be a techno guy like you are. What advice might you give them? 
maybe it's just to not rush, you know, not don't don't rush into it. And, you know, things will kind of come into place as as time goes in, and you just put the work in, and you'll get what you put in. It'll come out, and you'll see it. You'll see it. So just be patient. So tell me, what makes Move in 2016 so exciting? Because it's crazy. It's crazy? Yeah. Detroit's crazy. coming up. Detroit's coming up, and it's 10 years, baby! 10 Woo! years of techno! Yeah, yeah! yeah. It brings everyone together. This yes. is the best way to bring Detroiters and people from all over the world together. Yeah, look at Detroit, look at this. Look at this right now, yes. Um, Detroit is finally reflecting what has been going on around the world. They had the message a long time ago and to bring it home, because I do believe that we are the pace setters for it. Being the home of techno where it was developed right here, and I was blessed to watch the gentlemen and women that created it and was able to play a part of it and to help bring it into the forefront. I've done that all the way from Terrence Parker. I just never forget that day a UOD, and he walked in, it was this kid, he said, can I play some records? And I was like, sure. And he came up there and he cut up some Jodeci and something else or whatever, and I didn't know him from Adam. But I told him then that day, I said, you gonna be that one. I'll never forget that, because I was so impressed. But yeah, but he played a he played a major role in making um, the world know Detroit as no. well. James Brown had a legendary song, It's a Man's World, but is it a man's world as it relates to techno and what you're doing as a DJ, as a woman that spins music? Well, uh, that's just happens, that just happened to be the name of the song, It's a Man's World, but it's really a woman's world, because okay. none of them men do it if they didn't get with the woman the night before. Okay, all right. <laughs> but, I mean, you know, in reality, you know, you just think of that. I mean, it's... Uh, you know, that's, that's part of the um, making it happen. I mean, uh, Derek actually came to me uh, at the lady when he was living across the street on Jefferson. And he asked the crazy question, how come y'all DJs always get all the jobs? Now look, and he was saying. And then I also recall when he made the riff of Springs of Life and he asked me, what did I think about that? And I said, I think it's really cool. And I didn't know it was techno, he didn't either. But it was still my opinion not that he pushed for it, but he still wanted my opinion. And so that meant a lot to me. Now, when you talk about hot wax, which certainly is a signature term associated with your name, and vinyl as compared to what's happening today with the newest technology, it's like homemade bread and wonder bread, huh? So, but let us know um, the technical aspect of where it was and where it's now. Is it better now? It's what better? I didn't understand. It's better in terms of playing the music, though, in terms of, you know, when you were playing actual vinyl as well, compared to the well, technology no, of today. No, the only reason it's better is because I don't have to carry nine crates of records. That's the only thing that's better. But touching wax is always going to be a love and it works. Um, being able to play music and because we like it at serious volumes, not having the record jump, that's one of my peeves, you know, like boom, and it does that to, to mess up the beat. So for the, on the technical aspect of it, I like it better so that you can play the loud volumes and stuff and you can carry more music, the fact that you can put them on CD or flash drive or a computer and stuff like that. So just give you access to more music so you can make more things happen. Oh, that you're being honored at movement this year, no? Yeah, yes, I am. Yes, that's, that's fun. And although they may not have a formal acceptance, the gentleman they're going to have, but had they had a formal, they may have one, but but in the acceptance speech that you might make, what is something that you're going oh, to say? Oh, okay. You're, yeah, talk, um, I'm going to tell the people to keep dancing, to keep smiling, to keep listening, to keep being an innovator, to keep thought, to keep moving forward, to lay a foundation that will last forever. My wife and I are professional artists. We do performance-based live painting at all sorts of music events and festivals around the country. And you really just don't get the same vibe as you do here with Movement. Now, what makes Movement 2016 a must-attend event? Big Frida. Big Frida, period. Big Frida.
because we keep it moving on Postbeat.tv, Greg Demore is out happening and it's always about you being with us. Pulse of a new generation, Pulsebeat.tv. 107.3 FM, WVIE. How would you like for this to be you? Well, it could be. If you have the desire to be an independent radio personality, paying yourself, this is your chance. WVIE 107.3 FM and WHPR 88.1 FM are looking for people with outgoing personalities who can attract sponsors. Launch your career on a radio station with the latest technology and broadcasting. WVIE 107.3 and WHPR 88.1. If you're into talk, R&B, oldies, jazz, gospel, or soca, Radio We Can See is where you need to be. 88.1 FM. WHPR. Have your own radio show. We have block time available. Call 313-868-6612. Radio We Can See. Broadcasting live in the Virgin Islands and Detroit. Comcast Cable 91, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Pulse of a new generation. Pulse Beat. TV. Detroit is fast becoming a true international city and what defines a city as being international is its music scene and the Garden Theater is the home of a new world music series. <laughs> Sean Blackman, you were doing something really exciting in the heart of Detroit, um, and, and, and it, it involves the world, so let us know what you're doing. Well, uh, after traveling so much everywhere, every big city has a world music scene, and our city does not. And it, it would always drive me crazy when I would come back to my town and uh, not have any public place to go to see world music. I'd have to get on a plane and fly to New York. or get invited to somebody's wedding <laughs> some Indian wedding or a Russian wedding or Armenian wedding or something like that because uh, the musicians are here the cultural talent is here and uh, it's just always been hard to find it publicly so I created a monthly world music concert series right here at the Garden Theater and uh, we do it the last Thursday of every month and we're, every month we highlight a different country's music and we maintain a funky, jazzy Detroit rhythm section to make sure nothing's authentic. So we introduce us to two fantastic French singers. Um, one you said you've been working with for about 20 years is from Toronto and she has a Detroit connection? She does deeply. Uh, she uh, uh, has worked with many Detroit musicians and producers uh, uh, from jazz to electronic to, to world and oh and here she is. Why don't we say hello? <laughs> jean Viev Marentet. Hi, how are you guys? <laughs> well, you know, we're Better now that we're talking to you because you are really incredible and the spirit of Edith Piaf, it lives through your whole emotional delivery and you've got that rhythm that just means that you're something extra special. Let us know um, your feelings about performing in Detroit of all places. Well, actually, it's the spirit of my grandmother who wrote songs in 1937 in French that I sang tonight. Yeah. And also uh, Detroit, my family immigrated in 1756. We were part of the first 300 French settlers that came to Detroit. So I have a deep connection here. And even though I'm Canadian, I feel there's something I feel uh, since I was a teenager, since I was coming to Detroit from Windsor. Hop in the border. Hop in the wow. border every weekend <laughs> and going to Baker's Keyboard Lounge and trolling all the jazz clubs and going to dance parties and making house music with my friends and and even to this day, appreciating all the all the music that Detroit has to offer, um, the Frenchness is there. Well, is, it, is it Quebecois? Is that the? I'm Quebecois. half and half and half. I'm okay. half Quebecois and I'm half Detroit. 
<laughs> but, but, you know, now, when I watched her, I, I thought Amy Winehouse, you know, I know that she is from the English and you're from the French, but there is something that is so authentic about what you're doing. Um, you're channeling, and we said you had to pee off, but you're channeling somebody else. Who else? Detroit Soul. I, I, a lot of people, um, and myself, I, just Detroit has so much soul. It's my favorite city. I might live in Toronto, but my heart is here. And, uh, and it's not just French music, and I, I really hope that people emigrate here from all over the world and the city becomes even more rich and diverse because Toronto is very rich and diverse, multicultural, and you guys could really be the amazing host of all cultures. I know in your hearts that you're open and I know you, Detroit, you are so open and ready for all the cultures to come in and pollinate, cross-pollinate, and make magic. You're saluting the music of France and you also introduced a Detroit legend of world-renowned Wendell Harrison. What Ooh. makes him extra special? Oh my God, Wendell's improvisational skills are through the roof. I'm a jazz musician, bebop bass, but I play with a, a, a lot of funk groups, a lot of uh, groups out of, uh, it was, it's got the Latin concept, you know, uh, I played with uh, techno, you know, Carl Craig. Every last Thursday of the month, uh, we're going to highlight a different country's music and mix it with uh, Detroit's uh, greatest mainstream artists, funk and jazz, and uh, create this kind of world hybrid sound, this kind of new sound, this new thing, you know. And it's it's not new, but but it is new <laughs> every time it comes around and enters our stage. So next month uh, we're gonna highlight Armenia and mix yeah. Armenia with Detroit. The month after that we're gonna hit India. The month after that we'll hit China. So Fantastic. Well, thank you for making sure that as we turn the wheels concerning Detroit's wonderful reputation, that world class is being defined in the most rhythmic way. The song. Blackman World Music Way. Thank you so much. Thank you.